Hi guys, it's Paige and I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. Today, I'm excited because I'm finally crossing something off my 2021 wish list. Um, so like always, we're gonna get straight into the unboxing, but first I do wanna thank everybody who's taken the time to watch my videos, to like, to comment, and to subscribe. You guys are really appreciate it. If you like this content and you wanna see more like it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. So this is the box that I received in the mail today. Um, this package is hard to open. Um, so I'm gonna have to, oh no, never mind. I was gonna open it off screen, but I think I got it. So this is the item. If you've seen my wish list or my vlog where I tried these on, then you already know what they are. So we have two dust bags so you already know their shoes um i think these are the care cards i end up ordering these shoes from nordstrom um just so that i can use my card and get points um so this is the item i got the gucci pristown um slippers some people call them loafers or mules um the reason why, or part of the reason why it kind of took me so long to get these is because I wasn't sure if I wanted the ones with the fur or not, um, but I decided against the fur um, because I just felt like these would be easier to style and I would get more use out of them. And I was also concerned about like the wear on the fur over time and what that would end up looking like. And I don't know, I just decided to get these. Um, so I got them in a size 41. I am a true US size 10. Um, so I had to size up a whole size. I think most people size up like a half size, but I end up um, doing the whole size. And I have a blog and I will just put a card up um, so that you guys can see, um, you know, my experience trying them on and why I got the size 11. Um, so I am excited about these shoes because I think that there is something that is like really practical and something that I can um, get a lot of use out of. I have wanted these shoes for a while and I just never pulled the plug on it um, for not for any real reason. Um, I just never got around to getting them, but I'm glad that I finally did, especially now that it's getting warmer outside. I think these would be a lot easier uh, to style. Um, I still do want the ones with the fur. I think I'll just probably get a different color with the fur um, whenever they come out with them. Um, these shoes normally or throughout the years come out in different colors and different variations. And right now, I think the black ones are the only ones that are currently available or at least on Gucci's website um, with the fur. Um, and of course, I'm not gonna get the black ones and ones with the fur um, as well. Um, one of my favorite things about this shoe is, here, let me take this off, is the horse bit in the front. One of the things that I really like about the shoe is the horse bit in the front. Um, I think it's something to be said about a shoe that has no logo or no monogram on it and you still know what it is. Um, say what you wanna say about Gucci. I think between the horse bit line and their Dionysus line, um, Gucci does a good job of telling you it's Gucci without telling you it's Gucci. And I like that these are understated, that they're classic looking um, without any logos on it. Um, and it's not that I don't like monogram or anything like that, but there's a time and place for that. And I like that I have a shoe without a logo um, that is a little bit more understated and something that I could use for casual wear, but also would be like more appropriate in a professional environment. So these are actually gonna be one of my first 
pairs of mules. Um, so it's gonna probably be like um, a learning curve for me on how to style them. Um, I hadn't really bought any mules just because if I was gonna buy any, they were going to be these. Um, I'm just not a fan of like, I, cause there are dupes of these, like a lot of different brands do this shoe in different variations, but I just feel like if I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get the real deal. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I just don't own a mule. Um, and I do have like a pointed mule in suede that's a Tory Burch one um, that I've never actually worn um, just because I'm at home all the time and it would, would be something that I would wear to work and I'm not working in person right now. So I just have never gotten around to wearing them and um, styling them. So I'm interested to see how much wear I'm gonna actually get out of these. That's another reason why I didn't get the ones with the fur because it's just, this isn't like something I've ever had in my wardrobe before. Um, and so I just wanna make sure that, you know, if I'm spending the amount of money that I spent on these, that I'm actually using them. Um, so I just feel like the ones with the fur are gonna be harder to style um so we'll see how much wear i get out of it um and depending on how much wear um, i get out of it i definitely could see myself buying the shoe in different colors um right now the leather is like pretty stiff i know that there are going to be creases that build here over time um and that it will soften up which um probably will bother me but I'll get over it um so I don't know I plan on doing a video at some point talking about these shoes and my experiences so I plan on doing a video at some point talking about these shoes and my experience with it um I really don't have a lot to say about this shoe at this point um just because it's new to me um, other than the fact that I like the shoe, obviously, because I bought it. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get a decent amount of wear out of this shoe over the spring, summer, and fall. And then at some point, I will come back and do a review on this video. Um, I'm sorry, a review on the shoe and let you guys know how much wear actually, you know, I get out of it and how I like it. Um, so if you have the shoe and you like it, um, or you don't like it, um, leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this shoe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.